The stadium lights stream through the blackout curtains, creating long, Distorted shadows across the luxury hotel room, Taylor gripped a pillow to her breast, tears suddenly gushing out after weeks of suppressed anguish, the era's tour, which had been a dream come true, was turning into a pressure cooker, choreography mistakes, voice strain murmurs on social media, and the sheer practicalities of putting on such a large performance, all came crumbling down. A tap at the door shocked her, she wiped her face quickly and shouted out, it's open. The door creaked open, showing Travis, his normally silly grin replaced by a worried scowl. Hello Tay, are you okay? Taylor sniffled, and the dam broke even farther. No Travis, I am not. This tour is supposed to be a celebration, but all I feel is that I'm disappointing everyone. Travis, the epitome of soft power, strolled across the room and sat beside her on the comfortable couch. He did not attempt to fill the stillness with hollow platitudes. He simply waited, a soothing presence in the dimly lighted room. Taylor finally spoke, her voice full of emotion. The dancing it's harder than I expected. And the audience they have these expectations, so what if I fail? Travis chuckled gently. You know, the last time I checked. You weren't exactly known for your dance moves. Taylor's lips formed a misty smile. Thanks for reminding me. Yet, hey, Travis said, his voice hard yet soft. You put on a hell of a show, Tay. What matters is the singing, the energy, and how you connect with your audience. You are not a ballerina, and that's okay. You are Taylor Swift. His words struck home. Taylor poured her heart and emotion into the era's tour which was an homage to her music and fans. The dancing was simply an added bonus. Look, Travis said, grabbing her hand, his touch warm and reassuring. You wouldn't be so stressed if you didn't care so much. That's what defines you. You. However, keep in mind that you cannot do everything on your own. Take a deep breath, assign tasks, and remember to have fun. Those fans are there for you, cheering you on through every misstep. Taylor squeezed his hand. A weight seems to lift off her chest. Travis, with his calm demeanor and unwavering support, had accomplished what hours of self-doubt could not. He had reminded her of her strength connection to her followers and enjoyment of performing. Taylor smiled as she wiped away the last of her tears. Thank you Travis. I really needed that. Travis grinned. Anytime, Tay. Now, how about we order room service, put on some old school Swifty, and forget about everything but your killer vocals. Taylor knew she could face whatever came next with Travis by her side, even though the night was far from done. The tour would continue and the problems would persist, but she would not face them alone. Maybe she'd even be able to perform a few dance steps without stumbling over her own two feet. The loud clamor of the throng had faded hours earlier, replaced by the sterile hum of the tour bus motor. However, the adrenaline that had powered Taylor's era's tour performance still clung to her like a veil. Backstage, the atmosphere was explosive, with a bright tapestry of costumes, flashing lights, and the raw emotion of reliving a decade of music. Now, alone in her bunk, the tapestry unraveled, leaving a tangle of strained nerves. A tap at the door shocked her. She wiped away a tear and shouted out, come in. The door creaked open, revealing Travis, whose big frame filled the space. Concern etched wrinkles across his normally carefree features. Hey, you okay in there? Taylor faked a smile, his motion weak. Yeah, just unwinding. Travis was not fooled. He was aware of the impact the tour was having on her. He'd noticed how her smile faded during sound checks and the tightness in her shoulders before each show. He gently eased the door close, the simple action expressing volumes. You can drop the act, Tay, he added with a comforting growl. This tour is a marathon, not a sprint. It's alright to feel bad every now and again. He sat next to her on the bunk, the luxurious smoothness in stark contrast to the knot of anxiety in her gut. Tears flowed again, hot and relentless. She hid her face in her hands, fearing that the weight of expectation would crush her. Travis did not attempt to halt her weeping. He merely extended his hand in a simple offer of comfort. When the weeping stopped, he spoke quietly. It's your dream, Taylor. Millions of people resonate with your music because you put your heart and soul into it. That He stared at her, steadfast. But you are strong, Tay. You're stronger than you think you are. You've turned your experiences into art that has moved millions. Do not let the pressure dim your light. 
His remarks were quiet and powerful, resonating with a truth she sorely needed to hear. She looked up, a flash of her old fire returning in her eyes. You get it, don't you? Travis smiled. Maybe a little. We both live in the spotlight, with the pressure to perform at our best every night. But, hey, we also understand the value of a good post-game huddle. He chuckled, which provided a pleasant respite in the stress. Tay, this is your huddle. Take a deep breath, regroup, and remember why you began. A single tear escaped, leaving a sparkling trail down her cheek. This time, the tears were not of sorrow, but of thankfulness. Travis had served as her anchor in the midst of the chaos, reminding her that even superstars needed a partner from time to time. Taylor took a deep breath and straightened her shoulders. The tour wasn't done, but with Travis by her side, she felt a newfound sense of purpose. Thank you Travis. I really needed that. He gripped her hand. Anytime, Tay. Now. How about we get some room service and plan how to attack tomorrow's show? Taylor's face lit up with a genuine smile. Sounds like a plan, Coach Culls. The bus rattled through the night, carrying not only a pop sensation and an athlete, but also a friendship formed through shared enthusiasm and steadfast support. Taylor thought she could handle anything with Travis by her side on the Eras tour. The stadium lights bled through Taylor's bus's tinted windows, sending long, fragmented shadows across the worn leather sofa. Taylor was curled up on it, a million miles from the stadium's roar, tears streaming down her face. The era's tour, once a dream come true, had evolved into a ruthless beast, and tonight it had finally broken her. A tap at the door shocked her. She wiped her face rapidly and yelled out, come in. The door creaked open, showing Travis. His normal silly smile replaced with a soft concern. He knelt alongside her, his huge bulk dwarfing the little space on the bus. Hey there, he whispered quietly, his voice a calming rumble. Taylor managed a teary smile. Hey, rough night? Yes, I watched from backstage. Are you okay? She shook her head, and tears welled up again. I can't keep doing this, Travis. The pressure and expectations are just too much. Travis sat alongside her, his arm naturally going across her shoulders. Hey, he muttered, his voice full of pity. You are entitled to break, you know. The tour is wild, you give your best every night, putting on a show for millions of people, Taylor snuggled into him. The familiar aroma of his perfume providing a calming presence. But I don't want to let them down, she whimpered. They would not want that either, Tay. They want to see you happy and healthy. They would not want you to burn out. He drew back slightly, his eyes meeting hers. You know, being a champion athlete is more than simply making plays on the field. It's also about mental toughness. Knowing when to push oneself and when to rest. He winked. And trust me, I've had my fair share of meltdowns in the locker room. Taylor gave a tiny laugh. The image of Travis Kels, a football titan, reduced to a frustrated wreck was strangely soothing. Look, Travis said, his voice hard yet gentle. You need a break, a real one. No rehearsals, no interviews, and no pressure. Just you and some time to breathe. He squeezed her shoulder. This tour will still be available when you are ready. What about your fans? They'll be right there with you, encouraging you every step of the way. Because that is what Swifties do. Taylor gazed up at him, a glint of resolve returning to her eyes. You're correct. I cannot pour from an empty cup. She took a deep breath. Okay. I will take a rest, but can you promise me one thing?" Travis smirked, with a cheeky gleam in his eyes, anything, champ. Travis laughed, creating a rich, real sound that filled the bus. Deal. He drew her into a hug, the warmth of his arms conveying a wordless promise. Taylor believed she could take on the era's tour one show, one breath at a time, with Travis.